Hi, this is Lalit Vasist and you are watching Engineering Made Easy. In this video lecture, we will discuss amplitude modulation. Here we will derive the amplitude modulated wave equation in single tone. Okay? By single tone, we mean a single frequency. The, when the modulating signal has only one frequency or one tone, it is known as single tone AM. So before uh, deriving the equation of uh, AM wave for single tone, uh, we need to understand what is amplitude modulation. So amplitude modulation is a technique of modulation where the amplitude of the carrier wave is uh, modulated or is varied according to the instantaneous value of the modulating signal. This modulating signal is known as the message signal or baseband signal also. So now it's time to understand the single tone AM. So the amplitude modulation where the modulating signal uh, also known as message or baseband signal consists of only single tone. Okay. Here single means one and tone is the frequency. Tone means frequency. So single tone means only one frequency is called as single tone amplitude modulation. Okay. So in single tone AM, uh, as we know now that a high fixed frequency carrier wave is modulated by a single frequency modulating signal. Because in general case, uh, when uh, it is not the case of single tone, we have uh, multiple or uh, lots of frequencies in uh, the modulating signal. But in case of uh, single tone AM, we only have a single frequency in the modulating signal that is in the message signal. Okay, I think it's clear now. Now we will see the derivation of a single tone AM wave. Okay, so here is the derivation. Here xt is denoted by vm cos omega mt. What is uh, here uh, vm? vm is the maximum amplitude. This is the modulating signal. This xt is the single tone modulating signal. Here it has omega m as the single frequency. Therefore, it is single tone modulating signal because it has only one frequency that is omega m and its uh, maximum amplitude is denoted by vm and this is the equation for a carrier wave in time domain ct denoted by ct is equals to a cos omega ct is the amplitude the constant amplitude of the carrier wave and omega c is the single frequency omega c in uh, general case also which is uh, not a um, single tone this omega c is fixed now by the definition of amplitude modulation its general expression is given by st is equals to a plus xt cos of omega ct because we know that in amplitude modulation the amplitude of the carrier wave since this is the carrier wave okay and its amplitude is here a so this amplitude is modulated by the instantaneous value of the modulating signal okay so here in this section we at the place of a we write a plus xt xt is the modulating signal the, now just open it so it becomes a cos omega ct okay multiply it and xt cos omega ct okay now at the place of xt we will place this equation xt is we know vm cos omega mt so in the next step we will uh, replace this xt by vm cos omega mt so see here here replace this xt by vm cos omega mt so it becomes the equation xt the equation of modulated signal becomes a cos omega ct plus vm cos omega mt cos omega ct take a cos omega ct as common uh, here we have a cos omega ct and here we also have uh, cos here we have cos omega ct now take a cos omega ct as common here it uh, remains one okay and here we have uh, if uh, i take common a cos omega ct from this expression i get uh, vm by a cos omega mt it's nothing uh, it's very simple mathematics just uh, watch carefully we also know that the modulation index for the amplitude modulated wave uh, it is denoted by ma is given by xt max divided by a here what is xt max xt max is the maximum amplitude present in the modulating signal and a is the amplitude of the carrier wave so what is this xt max is vm because we know that this xt max is xt max is vm okay so this uh, 
vm by a expression is nothing but ma modulation index for am so i can write this equation as st is equals to a cos omega ct the same expression one plus this expression is vm by a is replaced by ma and this cos omega mt okay it's very clear so it is single tone am wave equation it is equation for single tone where the modulating signal the message signal has only one frequency instead of a, a large number of frequencies as in general case so keep this in mind this is very important equation of amplitude modulated wave or for single tone okay now we will see the derivation of frequency components present in single tone am we will find the another form in uh, frequency components of this equation that we have seen earlier so as derived earlier we know that st is given by 1 a cos omega ct 1 plus m a cos omega mt this has been derived earlier so this is equals to a cos omega ct okay just just multiply this a cos omega ct with these both terms so it is a cos omega ct multiply it by 1 and now multiply these two terms a into m a cos omega ct cos omega mt just multiply these two okay so it becomes a cos omega ct yes and now we know that uh, 2 cos a cos b this trigonometric formula is given by cos of a plus b plus cos of a minus b so we will use this uh, formula in of this trigonometry formula in this equation okay in this expression so just to make it to cos a cos b form uh, i just multiply this cos omega ct cos omega mt by 2 and to compensate this multiplication i will also divide it by 2 so just multiply it by 2 and divide it by 2 so this expression becomes 2 cos a cos b format okay and i can replace this by cos of a plus b plus cos of a minus b so with this using this equation i can write it as a cos omega ct the same plus a m a by 2 same expression and 2 cos omega ct cos omega mt can be written as like this so cos of omega c plus omega mt this plus cos omega c minus omega m into t very simple expression so it becomes a cos omega ct plus a m a by 2 just uh, i have just multiplied this a m a by 2 with these two terms so a m a by 2 cos omega c plus omega m into t plus a m a by 2 cos omega c minus omega m into t so this is the expression for the amplitude modulated wave for single tone where the modulating signal has one tone or frequency okay as you can see here it has uh, three expressions so three parts and uh, from this mathematical expression we can understand that this amplitude modulated wave has three parts first part is the carrier wave and second is the upper side bend and third part is the lower side bend this upper and lower are based on the frequency components as you can see here that here the this is the carrier wave and its amplitude is a its amplitude is a m a by 2 of upper side bend and it is of lower side bend these two side bands have equal amplitudes and this omega c is the frequency present in the carrier wave and this is somewhat more than the uh, omega c frequency of the carrier wave so it is upper side band and this is omega c minus omega m reduced by omega m and reduce and increased by omega m in comparison to omega c so these are situated on either side of this uh, carrier wave omega c okay so in the next section we will see the frequency spectrum of this wave okay we have already discussed this thing that it, this equation has three frequency components the carrier wave upper and lower side bands having this has frequency omega c amplitude a it has a frequency omega c plus omega m and amplitude a m a by 2 its amplitude is same of lower side band and frequency is omega c minus omega m here this uh, frequency spectrum of single tone am wave is given it will uh, clear all your concepts about this equation as you can see this is a graph between uh, frequency omega and the amplitude as we understand that uh, the amplitude of the modulating signal is vm the maximum amplitude and its frequency is omega m 
and the three parts that were present in the equation of am wave are represented here the spectrum is here the carrier wave having amplitude a and its frequency omega c and two side bands here this is upper side band because it has frequency it has a uh, omega m frequency more than this omega c omega c plus omega m and this is reduced by omega m so omega c minus omega m so this distance is omega m and from here to here is also omega m so this bandwidth is nothing but this omega m plus omega m that is 2 omega m or you can also under, uh, calculate this bandwidth by from the upper side band minus lower side band that is omega c plus omega m minus omega c minus omega m so just do this you will get 2 omega m as the bandwidth okay so the amplitudes of these two side bands is equal and but lower than this because lower than the amplitude of the carrier wave because we know that m a is less than or equals to 1 so this a m a by 2 would be uh, lesser than a and uh, why we need m a lesser than 1 lesser than or equals to 1 because if it is more than 1 then we will get uh, distorted uh, modulating signal at the receiving end okay so this is the frequency spectrum of single tone a m wave okay I think uh, it's very clear so we will see other concepts related to amplitude modulation and other things in the next video so keep watching engineering made easy friends for more such videos you can uh, subscribe my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can uh, visit my blog www.engineeringmadeeasypro.com its link is given in the description of this video see you soon in the next video till then bye bye